The modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass is a huge advancement in backflow device technology. The modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass provides exactly the same amount of backflow protection as the old RPDA with a Type 1 bypass while using substantially fewer functional components. It is important to completely understand the functionality of both the modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass and the old RPDA with a Type 1 bypass in order to understand that both units provide identical backflow protection. An old RPDA with a Type 1 bypass requires the main valve to include a first check valve, a second check valve, and a relief valve. The bypass connects upstream of the first check valve and downstream of the second check valve and must also include a first check valve, a second check valve, and a relief valve. A modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass requires the main valve to include a first check valve, a second check valve, and a relief valve. The bypass connects upstream and downstream of the second check valve and must include a single check valve. Let's review using simple diagrams. An old RPDA with a Type 1 bypass requires the main valve to include a first check valve, a second check valve, and a relief valve. The bypass connects upstream of the first check valve and downstream of the second check valve and must also include a first check valve, a second check valve, and a relief valve. A modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass requires the main valve to include a first check valve, a second check valve, and a relief valve. The bypass connects upstream and downstream of the second check valve and must include a single check valve. Now that we describe the differences between the old RPDA Type 1 bypass and the modern RPDA Type 2 bypass, it is time to demonstrate how the two products provide exactly the same amount of backflow protection. When an RPDA of any type experiences a backflow condition, water can travel in reverse through two different paths. A path through the main valve or a path through the bypass. First, a comparison of the paths through the main valve. During a backflow condition on an old RPDA with a Type 1 bypass, the water first encounters the main valve second check. Next, the water encounters the main valve relief valve. And then the water encounters the main valve first check. This provides three mechanisms of backflow protection. During a backflow condition on a modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass, the water first encounters the main valve second check. Next, the water encounters the main valve relief valve. And then the water encounters the main valve first check. This also provides three mechanisms of backflow protection. Now, a comparison of the paths through the bypass. During a backflow condition on an old RPDA with a Type 1 bypass, the water first encounters the bypass second check. Next, the water encounters the bypass relief valve. And then the water encounters the bypass first check. This provides three mechanisms of backflow protection. During a backflow condition on a modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass, the water first encounters the bypass single check. Next, the water encounters the main valve relief valve. And then the water encounters the main valve first check. This also provides three mechanisms of backflow protection. Both the modern RPDA Type 2 and the old RPDA Type 1 protect both the main valve and the bypass flow paths with two check valves and a relief valve, providing the identical protection to your potable water system. Both the old RPDA with a Type 1 bypass and the modern RPDA with a Type 2 bypass are approved by all agencies. Backflow Direct uses the modern RPDA Type 2 bypass in order to make the Derringer product line the shortest, lightest, best performing, most economical, and only all stainless backflow preventer in the industry. For more information about the Derringer product line, visit our website at backflowdirect.com.